Here's a little tip on how to reduce startup times on your computer. This includes Windows XP, Vista, 7, and 8. I'll show you how to do it on Windows XP, Vista, and 7 first. First, hit the Windows key and R. This dialog box will pop up and type in msconfig. Hit OK. Once there, this box will pop up. Navigate to the startup and you'll have a bunch of programs to enable and disable. Right click and disable what you don't need. For now, I'll show you how to do it on Windows 8. Since on Windows 8, it was moved to Task Manager. So let's close out of this. Right click the taskbar, click Task Manager, and navigate to the startup menu. Now, I have a bunch of programs I don't need. For example, Google Talk. I do not use Google Talk. At least, not enough. So I will disable that. Adobe Reader and Accurate Manager. I don't need that either. Disable along with Speed Launcher. Now Google Installer. That's one thing I'm going to keep enabled. This is what helps update Google Chrome, which I am using as my current web browser. it will keep it up to date every time I use my computer. So I'm going to keep that. You can disable all programs here if you want, every single one of them. Your computer should be fine. But I'm going to keep Google enabled along with this HKCMD module for, from published by Intel Corporation and HP CoolSense IDT PC Audio that is my audio driver software I'm going to keep that enabled too IGFX Tray Module I'm going to keep that enabled too that's also by Intel which I have an i3 Intel processor I can disable these if I like but I'm going to keep them enabled Java Update Scheduler. This gets annoying to me. I'm going to disable that. Microsoft Links. I don't actually use that, but I do have it installed on my computer. So I don't need that. I'm going to disable it. If you do use it, keep it enabled. Persistence Module. That's also by Intel Corporation. I'm going to keep that enabled. Scan to PC Activation App. That ended up in my start menu when I installed my printer. I don't need that, especially on startups. I'm going to disable it. Virtual Clone Drive, Damien. I'm going to disable that. I do not use that much. Only to use ISOs, which I happen to not happen to need to open recently. Windows Host Process, Ruddle Run DLL32. I really have no clue what this is. You can actually right click them and search online to see what they are. Open the file location. And check properties like how big this is, when it was created and modified, all of that. I'm going to disable that also. Along with Mobile Device Center, <clears throat> I don't use that much sometimes, but not all the time. I don't need that. I'm going to disable it. And here's what I have enabled left which would be Google Installer and these other five programs like I said you can disable everything here and your computer will be fine most likely will be fine and if anything doesn't work just re-enable it <coughs> this is the same for XP Vista and 7 except you're going to be using MS config like I showed earlier it will be the same setup in here but I believe you will have to right click them and disable them each one by one In this you have a button on the bottom right which you can enable and disable that is all and some general information on this this will not reduce boot time but it will make your computer ready faster when you do boot it up for example if you have Yahoo Messenger, Skype and Google Talk to all launch at once and you don't have that good of a new machine or fast machine there's no need to have that all run at once unless you want those programs to run every time I see it as not a, a waste of good processor resource and slowing down productivity when you do turn on your computer or boot up your device and that is all thanks for watching